The only point is, is that you can defeat my argument very simple. You simply have to give one account of Mecca on a map or being mentioned anywhere before 600 AD. That's all you gotta do. The earliest map we have of the Kaaba that has the, uh, no, the earliest mention we have of the, Ka uh, the Kaaba is from 741 AD. Yeah. That's 100 years after Muhammad died. You're that's, you're, a, that's, you're, a good, that's a good methodology. Chris, totally you're agree going, with that. You're going, but let me, you're going and mm. forget, par, pardon the pun. Go on, you're going off autonomy's pun. work as gospel. They did not traverse the Mediterranean, the Middle East, the subcontinent, and the Far East in terms of China. Okay. Ibn Battuta did. Yeah. Marco Polo did. Yeah, but Ptolemy you're not, you're not, even if we ignore a thousand years ago or whatever and look right up to the time of Muhammad, because according to your narrations, there would have been pagans who would have been encircling the Kaaba at the time, yeah? But we have no evidence of that. You can find records of that in China, not even NASA saying that you've seen cracks in the moon that are consistent with the moon. No, no, that's a lie. Either, either you're lying or you're not telling the truth. I'm looking to it right now. NASA has been asked about this and they said there is no evidence the moon was once split in half and then rejoined. I say, don't he had relations with Rachel when she was nine. You said that was well, Jesus. He never had relations with with anyone. He, he was uh, sexually pure. He didn't commit sex with other women. Is that better then? You're saying that marriage and sex doesn't always have to be like an idol for you. Like, it's just like everyone else. Yeah, it's not like you can tell one to be better or better. Like we can't just say that because Muhammad has sex or anything, he's better than Isa. I, I don't want to say that. Like, uh, what is it called? Like the higher Second. Uh, what are they called people in churches like the priests? Priest. Yeah, yeah, we're priests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, not, he never married, but maybe he okay. made sex with someone. Right, right. We can't say he okay, so, is wrong. Okay, so so we know from, from our scriptures, the earliest accounts of Jesus' life, that he didn't have uh, sexual relations with anyone. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so... And just because he didn't get married doesn't mean that he's better. Okay, sure, sure. So we actually think that Jesus is sinless. We believe that Jesus is morally perfect. That he never did anything knowingly wrong in his life. So. When you contrast that with what Islam teaches, Islam also has Jesus in a high position. It says that Jesus is the one who uh, defended Mary from the cradle. He is the one that committed no sin. He is the Messiah. But it seems to me that if we accept that Muhammad did things wrong, for example, Muhammad had people stoned and he stoned people. There are hadith where it says, and Sahih hadith, where Muhammad is recorded as stoning a, a Jewish person. And we can go, I can show you the verses of Muhammad doing certain things that I think you'll probably agree with me aren't great. They aren't good to do today. But when you look at Jesus, Jesus didn't do any of that. He didn't study Jesus' life, okay. sure. but Jesus didn't write down everything he did, so no one actually really After a long time, him. the people write about him, he, he great, he perfect, but not like Muhammad. Muhammad, they write about him. Yeah, did, they, did they change? Wait, Muhammad wrote everything down? 
Yeah, not him. Like some people also. Some people about hadith, right? Mm -hmm. About mm -hmm. his history, his yeah. life. Okay. But Jesus, after maybe 200 years, 300 years, the people start to care to write about him. Okay. Try to say he is perfect. Sure. So, do you know when the you know the hadith? Do you know when that started? When people started to write down the hadith, the yeah. Sahih hadith. Hadith, hadith. When he lived and when he died. So the earliest you have, it'll be for the hadith anyway, is Sahih al-Bukhari. And Sahih al-Bukhari, I think, was around 8.30. So that's 200 years after the Prophet died. Okay, but he, right. he write about the people who write hadith from, from direct for him. Right, so like people if we... Him. Sure, sure. He, he has the isnad, he has a train of narration. Isnad. But the issue is, is that, again, this comes 200 years later. So. Although there's a science that Muslims like to think is good, the Isnad is good science, no scholar takes the Isnad as a historical account. There are, no, there are no scholars who look at what the Isnad says about Jesus and then therefore reads into that what Jesus would have said. They go to the earliest sources, and the earliest sources we have about Jesus are in the same century as Jesus, and that would be the, the Gospel accounts. It would be Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. So when we want to know what Jesus said and what he taught, we look at the earliest documents. Do you believe the connection between Jesus and Islam? No. So, so we're, we're warned about people through our scriptures who would come after Jesus and would claim to speak in his name and would claim to put words into his mouth. And for us, we think Muhammad is, is one of those because Muhammad said things that Jesus himself never did, right? So first of all, the, the stories of, in the Quran of Jesus making clay birds and breathing life into them, we don't believe he did that. And the reason why is because we know where that came from. It came from what we call a Gnostic Gospel. A Gnostic Gospel is from the, from the uh, second century onwards, that's, that's 100 years after Jesus, people who never knew Jesus started to write things about Jesus and to say that Jesus said these things. And because we know they never came from Jesus, we know he never said them. But the problem is that we find it in the Quran. So in the Quran, we have these stories and we know where they came from originally. So the Quran isn't an original, like, uh, Musaf, it is an original book. Parts of it come from earlier. And we know where those came from. Okay, this is out of context, but sure. uh, do you study religion? Uh, I don't, not academically. I study them uh, passionately in my own time. So I do my own religion through Bible study, and I also do Islam. I also do uh, Jehovah's Witnesses and things like that. But yeah. Where am I from? Uh, up north. London, right? No, no, no. Uh, 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 you know, like, uh, not London, not south of England. Manchester, like this? Yeah, around there, I say that. Where's Jesus? Why did you come from the Middle East and not from North? Oh, no. Why is it like? Why is it not enough where I'm from, like north of England? So. <laughs> yeah. right, well, we we agree on one thing that God is the the one who determines all things. Yeah. So if He wishes to send His prophets in the Middle East, if He wishes to send His prophets from uh, Jerusalem, Damascus, wh wherever, then that is His will and His prerogative, right? But it's important to know that Muhammad himself, he we have no uh, evidence of him existing as a person. We, we, we find that there are accounts of him that talk about him living after he, he supposedly died. So we know the traditional Islam, Islamic narrative is wrong. So for example, you know, you know Mecca, the, the place of where Muhammad is supposed to be from? There is no accounts of Mecca existing as a geographical place. 
ما في دليل ان محمد هو كان موجود في الدنيا يعني الناس دونوا عقب ما مات يعني هو ما يعتقد انه في شخصيه اسمها محمد So you don't believe that there has been uh, a character named Muhammad? So myself, I don't know. I don't know because there are accounts of him, but they say that he exists. He was still alive after 632, which is when the Islamic sources say he should have died. So that to me says, well, maybe there was a Muhammad, but he's not that Muhammad that's recorded in the Hadith. But let's let's can. So how do you believe that Islam started and just went around the people? A lot of it we don't know. Um, we're trying to find out because we're looking into things like coins that were printed along that time, because the coins would have had your religion on them. But we know that. Islam seems to have started later than the time of Muhammad because we only start seeing coins that say Muhammad, blessed be, you know, the, the Shahada and, and actually having the word Muhammad on the coins. We only see that later on, nearer the, the next century. So not the seventh century where Muhammad was, but more like the eighth century. Because uh, before very people, uh, like very little people believed that Islam was a religion. So it only started transcending between people later on. Yeah, I, I do think that the Islam eventually came to be, but I don't think it came to be in the time of Muhammad. Because there's no... Because very yeah. little amount of people believe that he... Well, there's, there's also... Okay, so in the, in the traditions, there's a Caliph Uthman, who uh, he collected the Quran and he put it into one, uh, one standardized copy and he distributed that copy to uh, Mecca, Medina, uh, Kufa and Basra, and that's in modern-day Iraq, and Damascus. The problem is, is that we don't have that copy. So it's hard to know at what point Islam came into being because all of the stories about um, what happened at the time, where Muhammad was, what he did, we don't have evidence for it. We, we don't have evidence for Mecca, for example. We don't, we, so, but it does you know. exist. Oh yeah, it is, it is now, absolutely. <laughs> I, I think that Mecca came much later, yeah? Okay. So you look at the Dome of the Rock, yeah? The Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem? Yeah. So you look at the oldest inscriptions on the Dome of the Rock, they don't mention Muhammad. The new inscriptions mention Muhammad because the Dome of the Rock had been destroyed many times and it had been rebuilt. So in the areas that are rebuilt, it says Muhammad. But in the original uh, inscriptions, the oldest, it never mentions Muhammad. So a lot of people think that the original inscription is actually about Jesus and not Muhammad. You say go to his grave and you'll find his grave in Medina. Say again? Go to his grave and you'll see that he actually existed. Well, again, is that something that was always there or did that come later? So, so think, think of this, in Mecca, they, they build large buildings in Mecca, yeah? And, they, and to build large buildings, you have to dig deep into the ground. And when you dig into the ground, you discover artifacts. So you, if, if the, Mecca was a very ancient city that many people across the world used to come to for a pilgrimage uh, um, to the Hajj, yeah? They, they would have seen evidence of this happening. But when they... Yeah, they don't. They don't find anything. They, they don't find any... They're building buildings in Mecca, you know yeah, that. Yeah, but they haven't excavated. You know, in order to excavate, you have to build under the ground, right? Yeah, but how far do you have to build under the ground? A lot, from massive towers, yeah. yeah. So you, just from one part there, you think that just because they haven't found one part where there's a... They're building stru no, no, large structures all over Mecca, you know, wherever. Well, what I'm saying is, is that if there was a big city, they would have found lots of archaeological evidence, yeah, but, but we have found none. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, it wasn't mm. a big city, it was a caravan city. No, no, it was the center of it was the center of pilgrimage, right? So there should have been lots of activity there, right? You're saying because they built because they built towers in certain parts of the city where you have to dig underground. Yeah, you know that you know that like okay, there's nothing on the whole city, right? Which is a logical inference. But despite the fact that they've got a policy against they don't do archaeology in 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 Mecca. Well, yeah, I don't think the reason they don't do archaeology is because there's nothing there. There's nothing there. No, no, okay. Let's 
let's let's London. compare it. Let's compare it. How did you not find wait. out about Mount Sinai, that Mount Sinai, whatever it is? In wait, Mount wait, 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 wait. In Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, there are in no, no, no. Guns when they to go in Jerusalem, it's actually they're illegal. No, no, listen. In Jerusalem, it's actually illegal to to excavate certain areas here because we know what's there. We know it's a holy site. So it's it's incredibly careful for people so to stop digging. To Mecca? Because they have you have dug and you've built many large buildings and but underground there's nothing there. But yes, they do. It has to be incredibly careful about it. Yeah, but how do you know? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have found, we have found, we have found, we have found Solomon's, we have found Solomon's temple. We have found all sorts of archaeological artifacts. You're allowed. The difference between yeah, but you have to be very careful because we know there's valuable things there. You're allowed to excavate. Right. In Mecca, when you build these buildings, you don't find anything. But remember, Mecca is meant to be the first city, yeah, the city of Adam and Eve, yeah. Yeah. So it should be a massively like rich archaeological, archaeological evidence how long everywhere. Was Adam and Eve, thousands of years, yeah. We'll say thousands of years. We can say however long. Hundreds but hundreds but hundreds remember, years, remember. Oh, sure, I, I don't mind. Yeah. What I'm saying though is that there should be a rich archaeological evidence, but there isn't any. And the reason there isn't any, I think, is because so Mecca no rich, wasn't in the city. Rich archaeological evidence in Saudi Arabia. Uh, I'm just talking about me uh, Mecca Mecca specifically. specifically. Yeah, yeah, Mecca. Despite the fact that they've got a, a policy to not excavate or push archaeology in Mecca, but they're right. the rich archaeological there's nothing history there. outside of Mecca, mm. and then you're saying that there's nothing, can, there's nothing in Mecca. What I'm saying is, is that Mecca, no, no, Me the fact Mecca, that against excavating, wait, wait. Doesn't make sense what Me you're Mecca is a place that which is meant to be the very origin of humanity from Adam and Eve's yeah, time, yeah? Right, that. so you would have expected then, if people around the world came to this place to see the Kaaba, no, there would have been archaeological you, evidence. Do you understand? You said that there was never this, people from where we were going to. Do you, you realise that, you know the, uh, the, the, the mosque in Mecca? Mm. Do you realise that's been rebuilt. the whole size? Do you, you realise that the size of it now is the size of Mecca back before? Underneath the mosque is how Mecca was before. Right, yeah, it's gone through lots of changes, yeah, I totally understand. Yeah. So yeah. you're asking about ex everything that you'd want to find would be under that mosque because it's grown so much to the point where it's no. encompassed the old Mecca. Remember what I'm say. saying. So what you're no. looking for, what mm. you're looking at, are areas that would have been outside of Mecca. Right. It could, it that's fine. Mecca that's right fine. Now. That's no, fine. It's not. No, 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 you're listen. saying that you should be finding archaeological evidence. Yeah, anywhere. Anywhere near Mecca. There yeah, isn't but the point any. I'm making is, you know, is you know that what? it's now, yeah. the whole thing is a mosque. No, no, I'm saying even if you go out so of that... So you're saying we should yeah. be dug in, uh, digging underneath the mosque? No, what I'm saying is even if you go out of that, you should find archaeological yeah, evidence of people travelling to it. No, you don't. You don't find anything. It's it's a desert. It's literally a desert. Have you... Have you they find, they you find know, structures, 9,000-year-old structures. They find 12,000-year-old structures of no, camels. No, they don't. Of course, they've got a place structures called Medina Saleh. Have, 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 no. have you not seen the Nabataean? You, you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Nabataeans were north. Have you, not, have, you not, have you not seen them? So you think the Nabataeans were just in the north? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, you have no, no one was, no no one was traveling. No one was traveling en masse to Mecca. What books have you read about our Wait, wait, wait. Can I ask you something? What books have you read about our Let me speak. Jeez. Let me, let me see. I know, he's, he's, he's just kissing me. He's saying to me that. He's yeah, saying yeah, to me. Let's speak. Yeah, go on, then respond, respond. What I'm saying to you is given the accusation that yeah. there should have been lots of people from all over the world yeah. traveling to a place called Mecca, which yeah. is a desert that yeah. doesn't have its own uh, aqueducts, doesn't have rivers, yeah? yeah, so it can't sustain large amounts of people yeah. anyway, you're telling me that the reason why there's no archaeological evidence around at all is what exactly? Do you want me to explain to Yeah, you? go on. Okay, cool. The reason why you can't find archaeological evidence of the okay. historical Mecca is yeah. because now all of that is underneath a mosque that they don't excavate. So they never went anywhere, the they, they teleported to Mecca. Do, do you understand the point I'm making to you? He's asking for evidence. The mosque is bigger yeah, than Mecca. Yeah, yeah, so the mosque that now is basically the yeah, whole of Mecca from, yeah, it's bigger from the Mecca that he's looking for. Because he's talking about something, because it's a mosque now. Yeah, because they're not going to dig under a mosque. It's not, they, they don't dig on the mosque. Okay. You understand the point I'm trying to make? He's trying to say How because they find the because proof, though, if it's there, yeah. if you but he's trying it. to. In Mecca, there's an active. They got an act. They don't push archaeology at all. But he's saying because no, you're not even allowed yeah. to fly airplanes. Yeah. So, but he's trying to say that. he's trying to say because of that, there's nothing there. That's the inference. No, no, there, there is the nothing there. We have no archaeology. No, 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 okay, cool. <laughs> I just you was here from the beginning because I butted in. This wasn't my conversation. I butted in. Right, right, right. Now you're trying to backtrack what you're saying. I'm not trying to backtrack you. I'm just trying to address what you're saying. What I'm saying is. Given the claims, right, because they're not just saying it was a popular city, yeah. which is in itself is hard to accept, but they're saying it was the greatest an city Adam from the time of Adam and Eve. Yeah, yeah. So you would expect naturally, because supposedly th many people, it doesn't say how many, but many people came from all over the world to visit the Kaaba. Okay. So you would expect to find some evidence of travellers who, who would have ca uh, had camels or whatever and trade yeah. caravans going into Mecca, but you don't find On anything. On the journey to On the travel, yeah, yeah. anywhere near it, yeah. But yeah, so, uh, so, so not... So yeah. you're saying that Mecca wasn't there? 
So what I'm saying is we have no archaeological archaeological evidence that Mecca was a place. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. I, I've read the same. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you, you can wait, okay, okay. So let's look at. Okay, okay. So why does Ptolemy? Wait, wait. Why does Ptolemy? Have you, ever, have, you, have you ever heard of a desert kite? Have you not seen how much desert kites they found from eight thousand years ago, seven thousand years ago, desert what? Six thousand years ago. Sorry. Desert kites. What? <laughs> mate, have think about it reasonably. Th think about it reasonably. How can a desert, with no way of providing sustenance to people there, have thousands of people there? Do you think it was always a desert? You need water. Yeah, but do you think that was always a desert? Yeah, well, Mecca. Do you think, there, do you think there was always a desert? Was, was, was there, just five thousand years ago it was in the desert? You could look into it. You could look into it. Okay, Science all right. Tell you that sure. Years ago it was okay, so that's that's, that's everything from that's oh, everything from before no, five thousand. No, but the point is, I know what he's trying to do. No, 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 he's got. No, no, he's, he's not genuine. Or, what do you mean I'm not genuine? I'm generally yeah, convinced that there was no. You've moved the goalpost three times in this one conversation. What? We're still talking about the same thing, aren't we? Yeah, but you've moved. You've changed what you're saying three times. Why? What was I saying? First, you were saying that there's no evidence. No, I never. I said, said, I said, said there's no archaeological evidence for Mecca. Mecca. He was like, yeah, they have. And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, okay. But the whole of Mecca is underneath the mosque right now. So how have they dug underneath the mosque? Okay, and why does Ptolemy... Said, no, I'm saying just outside that. Why does... I told you that if you go in towards Mecca, you'd find that loads of it. And then I told you about Medina Saleh. I told you about all the archaeological sites. From wait, wait, you know, you know Mecca now, they have... Neolithic times. Wait, wait. They've got archaeological sites from, no, no, no. from there. In Mecca now, the only way they sustain the two to three million Muslims who go there for Hajj every year... It grows, it grows yeah, exponentially. Yeah, yeah. They have aqueducts that they've built to supply it with water. You're aware of that? Because there's no way on earth that area can supply itself. What do you mean by aqueducts? So they've got piping, they've got no... They need to yeah, aqueducts. they've literally, they've they've literally built, in modern <laughs> day, in modern day, yeah. they've had to build massive aqueducts to support it. What do you mean by aqueducts? They've got piping? Under yes, the yeah, they're literally... To supply Mecca with water... In one day? No, no. I'm saying in modern times, yeah. yeah, they've built aqueducts to supply Mecca with water. But they haven't built aqueducts, they've got underwater piping. Yeah. <laughs> it comes from an aqueduct, right? Yeah. So, and that's how you get fresh water. Yeah. Aqueducts turn the salt water into fresh water. Aqueducts? No. no, it's not. I don't think you know what we're talking about. Aqueducts is an older version of piping. How people yeah. used to get water to people. Yeah, yeah. You get water, 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 you, okay, you really oh, fair don't enough. know what you're talking about. What? Sorry no. to, okay, all right. Let's talk about Ptolemy, yeah? If you look at ancient uh, map if cartographers... Yeah, uh, he's, he knows... Yeah, the Zamzam well can have like, was it, 19, um, 19 square meter... Li um, 19 litres per second of water the Zamzam well can provide. That's he's nowhere near enough. He's been waiting to drop that. There's, yeah, there's all, nowhere near enough water. All, all, yeah. all of the but you're saying that all of the water in Mecca comes from Zemzem. I wouldn't say they well, don't, they don't bust in any water. Well, they, they must do. The, clo the closest mountain is. I'm, I'm not too sure. About I'm that. telling you, the closest yeah. mount, the, clo the closest. We don't know, to be honest, man. We, be closest, we believe Mecca. We believe the actual the, the place of worship was built by Abraham. But we we are Adam was the one. Sorry, sorry, brother. No, no, but I'm just asking roughly. How old do you think Mecca is? That was a rough estimate. We don't have a date. We don't have a date to Abraham. So you can't date it to Abraham's time. We don't have, we know. I can't tell you like four thousand years. Yeah. We don't have a date. Well, yeah, you would have to say that it would also be Adam and Eve, though, the right? The Muslims. Yeah. The Muslims don't like, believe the world. Adam and Eve is that three days. That three dates. Three dates Abraham. The first. Yeah. Abraham. The first humans. Abraham, so the first. So however old. All of creation and humanity is. It's, it's, it, it, yeah, well, I guess. Is we, that don't, right? we don't believe, like, I think it's in the Old Testament, we don't believe humanity is like the world is 6,000 years old. We don't. No, no, no. We, we yeah. don't have anything to say the world is 6,000 years old. So if we find, I think it's in the Old Testament. Right? It's, uh, if you put the genealogies together, it works it, out to like 12,000. Yeah, six, it's, 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 six it's six young earth creationists, yeah. mostly in America yeah. movement. Yeah. We don't. So yeah. we find, if we find human skeletals, humans, yeah. like, 2,000 years, 200,000 years, we don't have a problem believing that. Okay. Okay. In relation to, I keep hearing Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just as a date of reference. Yeah. But I mean, thousands of years, I'm happy to say thousands of years in all honesty. So, John and the Bible, as hard as it is for us, I move that aside. And someone's to come to me, to you, to you, to you, and to you, and to you. As they prove to me, without biblical or Quranic scripture, yeah. prove to me Abraham existed. Would you be able to prove it? Would we be able to prove it? Personally, I ain't looked into it, so I'm going to probably say from my perspective right now, no. I personally couldn't. I agree with I you. I personally don't know enough to I say agree I with could. You. From what I've researched, there is nothing outside of scripture talking about this man Abraham. Uh -huh. I think the same. So when you say, is there anything from the historical record, vast mm -hmm. scripture, yeah. to talk about Mecca? Yeah or to talk even about Moses, or even Noah, we don't have anything. So what I would we say here, just to qualify The closest that, we because, have, hmm. 
just to land very quickly. The closest we have is the flood narrative. Yeah. No, they found tablets of the Sumerians, yes, Gilgamesh, Sumerian. talking about a flood in supposedly yeah. that region, yeah, Iraq. Yeah. So that we can claim, ah, that's something outside of scripture. Which, but then they say, ah, but you've copied it from these yeah, it's, pagans. Yeah, yeah, it's a play so they, they try and hit that back yeah. to us. Yeah, so, so, but that's, what, that's my point. If, we, if we, we can pose that question to a lot of our religion, yeah. that we can't prove from the historical record outside of scripture. Right, okay, so just to clarify with that though, I, I agree with large amounts yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. But I do want to say that in terms of the existence of Mecca, remember that I'm saying that there wasn't any even up until the time of Muhammad. So I'm not talking about thousands of years, although there should have been an accumulation of evidence of coming from those thousands of years. But even just say 400 AD, there's no evidence of Mecca there. We have Ptolemy. So Ptolemy was a cartographist who actually went into Arabia and noted down where all the major cities and towns were. He never mentioned Mecca. Alexander the Great, not sent, was it Alexander the Great who sent people to Arabia to have a look? around Arabia and they come across nothing. Yeah, so, Mecca. well, there was Ptolemy who, who would have been more Roman than Greek, but here's, here's a, a point to mention. According to these cartographists, Arabia was divided in the Roman, uh, Roman idea for, for three parts. Um, Arabia, Pet, uh, Arabia, I forgot it's that Felix, which was Yemen and Omar, which is south. And then you had Arabia, Arabia Deserta, which was a bit in the middle, where the Hejaz is, so where Mecca and Medina would have been. And then you have the north, I can't remember what the north is called, but as far as they were concerned, the north had value, Yemen and Omar in that area had value, but a bit in the middle, they, they didn't seem particularly... Yeah, there's actually a count of the Romans going to try and invade Yemen, and they went through uh, Arabia Deserta, so they weren't near-ish, Medina and Mecca, there was no accounts of it. That to me, I think it's good reason to doubt the existence of Mecca as a place and yeah. to call into question the standard Islamic narrative. So, so in, in the Bible, when it refers to the valley of Mecca, what, what, what did you say that? Where you're talking about Isaiah 42? Yeah. Well, wherever it was, it was a place where they were going to, uh, as yeah. where God was, so God's temple. So unless you think you, God's you, temple was... You, know, you know in the Quran it's also referred to as Mecca as well, yeah? What do you mean? Mecca is also referred to as Mecca in the Quran as well. Well, okay, but I don't. I haven't looked. I, like, I will agree with what my friend here said. I haven't looked into that enough to know uh, saying, to talk about it. In, if you haven't yeah. looked into it, then you can't make claims. This is the issue. Well, You're I, out and making I'm pretty. Claims. Well, I've, I've just, I've just clarified. I said if we well, talk about that, I'm not going to be. The claim that the no, was he, built by Abraham yeah, is also just the point, I just, claim. Made, the point I just made was is that in the Bro, Bible, it's leaking. In the Bible, is it finished? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. I owe you a pound anyway. Are you fine? No, no, she was my friend. Sure, yeah, split it. In in the Bible, it refers to Abraham, and these are going to a place called a uh, valley of Mecca. Yeah. And I'm saying in the Quran, Mecca is also referred to as Mecca as well. The geographically. So what I'm trying to ask, I'm trying to ask you from the biblical perspective, where is this Mecca? And he said to me, I don't know. So I'm saying. Well, no, so we, we have an idea. We, we have an idea. We have an idea that it's. Um, in the desert, but where, what, where's the no, desert? No, well, uh, around the region of um, Jerusalem, somewhere nearby. Yeah, sure. The issue is, is that if you were to accept the idea that this is actually a reference to uh, to Mecca, you would have to accept that Abraham decided to make a massive journey for about 1,200 kilometers south, which is difficult to understand why he would do that. Can I just understand your argument? So your sure. argument is yep. that Mecca didn't exist before the Prophet, is that what you're saying? I'm saying it didn't exist at the time of the Prophet as well. At, at the time of the Prophet yeah. as well? Yeah, because there's no evidence of it. Have you ever heard of Negashi? Who? Uh, an em uh, Ethiopian emperor called Negashi. Nope. He's someone who come and invaded Arabia, pre-Islamic times. Pre-Islamic times, yeah. right. Did this he find is, Mecca and Medina? Yeah, he tried to, he took elephants to Mecca from across the Red Sea. He took elephants into yeah. a desert? From across the Red Sea. But did he do you take know it how that city called Mecca? Yeah, yeah, but it was called Mecca. Do, do you do know, wait, wait, you, the the thing, yeah. you do know that elephants need water, yeah? yeah? The names of cities changed. Do you get it? So well, it's like, not, if, well, if you've got, if you've got, if, if, if it's Mecca or Medina, I wouldn't yeah. expect they changed too much. Me, me, of course it is. Me, Medina was called Yathrib right. before. Okay. Me, also, Mecca was wait. called Becca before. Yeah, I've just said this several times, but like, he's got an agenda where he's trying to prove me wrong, even despite the fact that he's me, he's never actually looked into it. Mm. No, so no, no, I'm talking about, I, no, no, I'm talking about, I, towards him. So, I, and I apologise if I'm coming across as a bit, what's it, but this is just, this is what I'm, I'm just listening. And I've listened to this guy, who changed his port, goalposts, changed his point four times since I've been there. Well, I'm trying to catch up with you, because you're going all over. What I don't know about what I haven't. Sorry. What? Yes, which is why no scholar would believe that elephants went across okay, so the, the how desert. How did Hannibal take elephants through Spain? 
have you Spain have you isn't a desert. Like yes, the, the middle Spain. of Spain is a desert. Have you never been to Spain? I've been to Spain, mate. I, yeah, I wasn't in a have, desert. If you used to go there, it's, of course, it's a desert. Salamanca, that whole area of Spain. Yeah, but we both Andalusia. agree. Wait, wait. Calabria, that whole we, uh, Andalusia, uh, up until Calabria Catalonia. Really sorry, up until cool. Catalonia. Sorry, Calabria. It's a it, pure it, desert. Until, yeah, it's desert. And anyone will tell you this. <laughs> in Spain. Now, uh, look in, into it. Are you, you, Spain. I've okay, been to Spain, okay. mate. <laughs> it's Morocco desert. Yeah, Morocco has deserts, yeah. It's not all desert, though. It's not all desert, though, is it? but a lot of it is desert. Yeah, yeah, but, but uh, remember, Arabia Deserta... Wait, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Arabia Deserta is called Arabia Deserta because there's nothing there. It's deserted. No, that's not true. It's, mo ever, it's just desert. Coast? Have you ever been to the coast? Coast of where? To the coast of... You see where Arabia Deserta is? Have you ever come to the coast? Have you ever seen what's on the coast? Yeah, the, you've got the um, the Red Sea on the, on the side. Yeah, but what's, what's on the... What's between the Red Sea and the desert? More desert, probably. No, it's not. It's what? mountains. Okay, okay, mountains. Yes, look into it. Look into okay. it. You don't even know the geography. This is the issue. You're making claims. I'm, no, I'm quoting people who do know geography, yeah. such as Ptolemy. Let's, let's Ptolemy. Right now. Okay, look at Ptolemy. You're talking, about, you're talking about Ptolemy. When did he arrive? When was he alive, sorry? It was around 200 AD, I believe. 200 AD? Yeah, so you're talking so. about someone who's 1800 years ago. I'm talking about right now. But them same elephants. Yeah, but that's closer to Mecca, yeah. isn't it? Huh? Would, they, would the elephants then need to make the trip through yeah, the mountains? Yeah, there's paths through the mountains. People go up mountains yeah. all the time. People, there's cities on the mountains. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but usually yeah, people don't build cities in deserts. You see the issue with it? I don't mean to sound a bit rude or whatever, yeah, but this is my thing is, yeah, you see, a lot, a lot of people view things with a Eurocentric lens, so they say, if we can't find it through our, our history, then it didn't exist, without looking at what other people are saying as well, they get it like other people don't have their own history. So okay, can you, if, can you, you cite me some history? If you want to concede that Hannibal your went history, through, sorry? sorry? Does your history come solely from like, your religious history, like your Quranic history? It's not. Or are, it's we not going by, or are we going Arabs by actual before. world scholarly yeah, history? But Arabs it's not going to be much scholarly scholars. history doesn't back up a lot yeah. of the claims that you yeah. guys make. No. But right. Whereas as Quranic claims... Such as what claims? That's what I'm saying. He just made several right. sweeping claims that well, he can't okay. describe. Right. I've ever heard uh, Dr. Nikolai Sinai. Cool. in a muddy pool of water. That, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's, that's, that's a little problem. That's in context. Yeah, but it's a it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's not. Or that the okay. world is okay. stretched Wait. out like a rug. Yeah. yeah. This this all of the thing. moon was this flipped. It's all in context. This is, all of these things here, is, this is poetic language. No one believes that the land, the world... Wait, does no one believe that the moon was flipped? Okay, cool. So if it's saying that the sun... Uh, uh, sets in a muddy pool of water then how mm -hmm. do you account for verses that speak about the uh, constellation of the sun and the constellation of, uh, around planets around the sun can you show me those verses things, you have to look at things in perspective but can you show me those verses he's, here, not, he's not here to engage he's not here to be no I am engaging with you I'm, I'm engaging with everything you say you're not you literally just said the sunset in the middle of the middle pool was not to be taken literally there's no okay, evidence okay, for that okay, in the narrative whatsoever can you tell me the context behind that the, <laughs> let me explain it, it, no, tell me the, the context no, behind no, that because you you're, I, you're I, trying to tell me something that you're saying that I'm wrong, so yeah. clearly you know something I don't know. So I'm going to tell you that, that the narratives in the Quran are wrong, okay, and I can give many examples. No, no, Look, no. Okay, Surah point. 54. Please, no, no, the point, point I wanted to stick out was Surah 54, please. the moon splitting in half. No, no, Do you think that's true? Point. Stick to the point. There's, you, Chinese, there's Chinese historians that have. have, have there's, there's, you can find records of that in China. Not even NASA saying that you've seen cracks in the moon that are consistent with the moon. No, breaking. no, that's a lie. Either, either you're lying or you're not telling the truth. I'm looking to it right now. NASA has been asked about this, and they said there is no evidence. Evidence the moon was once split in half so and then rejoined. Is, is there no evidence that there's giant cracks that go through the moon? There are giant cracks, but that, so giant cracks that? many different ways. There can be lots of reasons for cracks in the moon. Yeah? Okay. So, so let me. Oh, so, 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 I, I love the way that you just shifted away. Yeah? You know, because you just said a second ago about sunset and the muddy water. Because he brought it up, and I want to choose that as an example. Yeah, but you agreed. About, yeah, yeah. But you agreed. So I'm asking you, can you give me the context okay, behind okay. this? Okay. Okay. You keep no. making points, and you don't. Know. You're jumping around. You're jumping around. You're you jumping jumped around all over the place. You, you brought up that point about the sun setting in the muddy water. Muddy water. You did, and right. you agreed with it. So I'm asking. Right. I'm and asking I also contrasted that with Surah 54. The context behind it. Instead of addressing it, he's trying to move on to something. He's like, no, I want to talk about this. Come on, this is why these people are. You're not I genuine. Was You're not genuine. along the lines of like evidential stuff. You, you really yeah, and, and You're gonna have a problem. You've got a You're gonna have a problem with Islam. Because uh, yeah. Islam Bring is not gonna have that kind of evidence. What are you gonna? What are you showing? Take a picture of this this video. And if, if you're, which I believe you're sincere, watch it. And I'll okay. talk about the evidences Abib, Abib. From, from, from India, non-Islamic. Yeah. Just be wary of the, the provocateurs. Yeah.
just be wary of the agent I think there you can make your own mind up. Buddy, if I'm yeah. honest. You can make your own mind up. I've seen a lot of this you know stuff and I think it's on both sides. But I think you're Since I've come here, have I attacked his religion? Have you heard me talking about Christianity or anything? Or have I just been solely been No, no, you haven't. I'll give you that. And I could be doing these things. It's been a little bit, a little bit heated, but oh, that's all right. I'm just, I'm pointing out. It was only me that brought up the examples. I'm pointing out the fact that. I don't think he brought up an example about a religious kind of attack. Isn't it? But isn't it only fair that if you if you do make a point, you have to substantiate it? Yeah. And I've tried to get him to do that several times, and, he, and, he, and he's just moving around. I gave so Ptolemy so as a, uh, an evidence of the lack of Mecca. You know? I gave and the I fact that it's not archaeological evidence yeah. as another yeah. reason. I'm just reacting to that. You know what I'm trying to say? This, this is my. This is well, my yeah, it's because it shakes you, in all honesty. Yeah, That's why you do it. All right. Aqueducts. You always think they're suppliers of water. No, no, I'm saying that they have built aqueducts. That's a question. No, you're taking what I say out of context again. Come on, Chris. What's the argument with Ptolemy? So Ptolemy was a cartographist. Guys only gonna rattle me. Bro, you past the bin on your way anywhere. Let's talk about Ptolemy. You can, yeah, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. But Ptolemy was a cartographist who happened to travel to Arabia, and when he was there, he took notes of all the major cities and areas that he found. He does not mention Mecca. From my understanding, he got reports from merchants and travelers. Yeah, it is. It is. So in relation, I'll to give you that. He didn't go to every place, hold, hold but he went to the Arabian Peninsula. I don't believe so. He never went to the Arabian no. Peninsula. Never went no. there. What no. makes you think he never went there? Right. But my point is, is that you can defeat my argument, very simple. You simply have to give one account of Mecca on a map or being mentioned anywhere before 600 AD. That's all you got to do. And then my argument's wrong. The reason why I think you struggle with this is because there isn't actually any. And having looked into certain scholars of this, they also say it's a bit of a weird question as to why there isn't any evidence Who of it. Who would draw maps? In a, over well, Arabia. well, maps geography as a study didn't come about until much later, the Renaissance period, right? But in terms of noting places, Ptolemy was someone who was writing down certain uh, areas and who described where they are in relation to each other. We then drew, drew them uh, like a thousand years later. Yeah. Okay. So, what was the importance of Arabia to? the Greeks, the Romans, the Persians? Not much at all. Um, they had an interest in Arabia uh, Felix, which is Yemen, the southern part of Arabia. They thought that was valuable because they tried to conquer it, yeah? Because they actually sent a Roman army to conquer it and they failed. But they would have gone past where Mecca and Medina would have been in Arabia Deserta, but they didn't record seeing any Kaaba being worshipped, so they didn't record... How do you know they would have gone past it? What, what route okay, so you take? can look at the route. So they would have went from northern uh, part of Arabia, heading down to Yemen. They would have gone uh, from the nearest point to the river, the Red Sea, which would have been along the coast, which would have been roughly near Mecca and Medina. And who guided them? The army leaders, I guess. Huh? The leaders of the army. No. I don't know if it was... No, uh... no. An Arab guided them. Okay, sure. Oh, yeah, I remember the story. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. where did the expedition start? Uh, I think it was from Egypt. Yes. Yep. Okay. So if you go from Egypt to Mecca and Medina, you would go like okay. that, right? And what did that Arab guy do? He uh, misled them, right? He misled and, them. And then he took them to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He misled them. I'm so, perfectly happy to think that that's no his, so historic, yeah. It's shown that the Arab guide mm. misled them. Sure. If he had an inkling that those Romans from Egypt might have had, not initially, but if they came across it, might have had some liking to Mecca in some way in terms of their intention of conquering, he may well have not guided them past Mecca. Okay. Because it's well known, that, and I've looked into this, this Arab guide purposefully misguided them on purpose. Okay. And the adventure I was, agree, I agree with the that. The adventure was a catastrophe. Yeah, I absolutely agree with and that. Then they, and then they went back, and, saw, yeah. and I believe, if I'm wrong, mm. correct me if I'm wrong, I believe their Roman leader, was he executed? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it, was yeah. yeah. it was such a disaster when he got back to, 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 yep. to Egypt. He was executed. He was executed. Right. So that's one account, though. My other account is Ptolemy, who also went to the Arabian Peninsula and did not see any evidence of Mecca. Do he you, never voted. Do you it. accept the, the argument that I've given that it's a possibility? It's a possibility okay. in, car in regards to the Roman army going there, which is a separate thing. Okay. So no, maybe they did that. I'm talking about the Roman but, army argument. Do you yeah, exactly, right? My argument, that's I'm a saying that it's a possibility, yeah? Okay, no I think the evidence would say it's more likely that now, there simply wasn't now, anything there Ptolemy, to find. But, Ptolemy, yeah. mm -hmm. like Idrisi in the 11th century, so Idrisi was similar to Ptolemy. He lived, not to digress, but very quick. He lived in the 11th century. He lived in Sicily. 
and the Roger, uh, Roger the First, who was a Norman Christian king who conquered Sicily from the North African Arab Muslims. And he also wrote, produced an atlas for Roger the First, Roger the Great. And a lot of what he got was not only from old maps, right. but all the traders that were stopping off in Sicily and receiving their accounts. Just oh, yeah. like Ptolemy. Ptolemy, a lot right, of what. Just Sicily, get to what you're trying to say. What are you trying to say? Ptolemy was not Ibn Battuta. Okay. Ptolemy was not Marco Polo. Sure. Meaning they did not traverse the Mediterranean, the Middle East, the subcontinent, and the Far East in terms of China. Okay. Ibn Battuta did. Yeah. Marco Polo did. Yeah, but Ptolemy you're not, did you're not. not. You're not attacking my point. So you're just trying I'm to saying, cast doubt no. on the point. So what I'm saying is Ptolemy is not an eyewitness in terms of literally. He went to Arabian Peninsula. Bear with me. Going to the coordinates of supposedly where Mecca is right. or was yep. and saying there is zero here. Yeah, but he also recorded where the rivers were. There is nothing here. And he said there are no Ptolemy, rivers there. Ptolemy, Ptolemy received vast, vast majority of, of his accounts yeah. were from other peoples. Who, were, who Eva, do what? They live Eva, there, yeah? Eva, they no, live there? No, no. So he never got information about no, people who lived in no, the Arabian Peninsula no. who would have known where the major these, cities were. These were people who went to the Greek world and who were traders. No. So either if you were specific traders yourself or the people that you know of or the accounts that you've heard they would relay them to Ptolemy. Mecca no. was nowhere on any trade route yep. of that time. Yep. There was no existence of any trade routes going Yep, to absolutely. And we Mecca know that from Patricia Crone. From Mecca. And I believe, I think it's Nance Michael Cook. Talking about Ptolemy. Uh, that's but fine, but I'm just going to give you what he's saying. He is correct on that. We talked about the... We talked that's about fine. I'm just adding he is correct. We talked about the Roman army. Yeah, where you gave an account of what could have happened, We're which I think is unlikely. We're talking about Ptolemy. Yeah, and I think Ptolemy not referencing Mecca or any rivers near Mecca is proof of not Mecca. Are there cities? of Mecca to prove their point. Because if you not... Because it hasn't been proven, it doesn't exist. Right, no, I know. There's no answer. No, I'm saying that on argument for probability, it's probably not there. What I'm going to do is go to his writings, which were lost, which were lost. Ask, ask he good people, or, or, or where there's incense in them. Fe, fe, How are these guys getting them in there? Yeah, yeah. In, in, in yeah, yeah, yeah. Ptolemy lived from 900 AD to roughly about 150 AD. His works were lost Did and they're rediscovered in the 14 and 1500s and translated from, I believe, Greek into Latin. So his Wait, works no, were that's lost. Not Ptolemy. Yes. No, Ptolemy, Ptolemy was long before. Yes. 741. No, Ptolemy is the was like 200 AD or somewhere. 90 to 150 AD. In, that, that, in, that. In, in, Ptolemy? Yes. In the, in the, in the, in well, Mecca was obviously in there then. 90 to 150 AD. <laughs> I mean, His yeah, works were lost, no. and then they were discovered. No, 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 no you, you're confused about who we're talking about. No, no, no. But to, no, yeah, no. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm just, yeah, just he, was, he came from before the time of Muhammad. That's what my argument is. I said 90 to 150 AD. Oh, 150 AD. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought you said. Sorry, my bad. I misheard you. I misheard you. I thought you were saying he came a thousand years later. It's a simple question. So that means Mecca would have been documented. It's a simple question. The point I'm trying to make is is that you're looking for a name for Mecca and how do you know okay. it's called Mecca before? It's sure no, that's a fair point, but change. if you think about it, any it's city of substantial it's a simple question. standing yep. that you would go through on that journey it's would be documented yep. that there is a substantially sized city yep. and people will talk about it. Yemen, but it has, even if it not, wasn't classed yeah. as Mecca, okay, show me, show me it then. would still be registered or someone would have documented there's a huge city here, we don't know what this is yep. called, yep. there's trade routes coming to and from, they have and a it's a center of worship. La, 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 but there isn't. Yeah, there isn't. What, what would constitute... No problem. What would constitute a major city for you? Large amounts of people go in there. Thousands of people go in there. Population, Tens of thousands, not hundreds trade. of thousands. So what I'm going to do is this. Yep. As my, I'm going to give myself homework. I'm going to look at Ptolemy's writings. Yep, yep. And I'm going to cross-reference them with cities that existed yep. then, yep. which were known about, which he did not mention. Sure. If, if I yeah. can give you a couple of cities mm -hmm. which were known about, mm -hmm. which had for those times a substantial amount of population, sure. which okay. he did not mention, right. shows mm. that there's a possibility oh, that Mecca existed 
which was substantial in terms of population, which he did not okay, mention. So you're that's, you're, a, that's you're, a good that's a good methodology. Chris, totally you're going, that. You're going, but let me, you're going and mm. forget par, pardon the pun. Go on, you're going on Ptolemy's work as gospel. <laughs> That's what I'm, you're doing. No, I'm looking for any reference to Mecca. That, any. That's, that's different. I, I, thought, I would that's expect different. to find it with Ptolemy because that's, that's literally what he tried to do. Didn't find it. That's different. Yeah. That yeah. The, the, the argument is multifaceted. There are multiple arguments for thinking for doubting the existence of it. First of all, where it is, the lack of water there so it couldn't sustain large populations. Second of all, the fact that cartographers never documented it. Show me one, anyone before no 600 AD. No trade, yeah. The, the, uh, it was um, some Islamic authorities used to say it was a center of trade. Mm -hmm. But um, Montgomery, what I think his name is, it's completely it's destroyed it's that it's argument. It's so did Patricia Crone. I'm trying to, I'm trying to no, this is scholars. It's a lot more nuanced than that, but it's a center of, a center of trade for who? Pilgrimage place for who? Right, right. For, for all, uh, supposedly, for, who? For, who? for all of the world. No, it's not. It's a pilgrimage. It's no, a no, pilgrimage supposedly, people from all over the world came to the Kaaba. From, from, from the, the time from the of Abraham. Arabs in the desert. Chris. So from the Arabs is that, in the is desert. that kind of going along the lines there's a conspiracy against Chris. the city of Mecca by other nations that didn't want to document it? Of course. No, is that what you're no, saying? No, no, no. Yeah. Can, can so I, but Mecca was there before Islam, right? Can I, can I correct two so things? So then before so Islam there was a conspiracy Islam. against Mecca. There's two things. Mecca today, in terms of its water supply, yeah. solely comes from Zemzem. No, not at all. So, well, today, today, right, yes. today. No, not at all. Yes. It comes from... <laughs> it, Desalination it, plants, you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Desalination yeah, yeah, yeah. on the coast. Yep. Where they get, uh, one's uh, like far south. Sea water. On the Hejaz. Yep. Okay. You know, that, you, know, you, know, you know how much water you need to, to supply two to three million people For my understanding, weeks? it's solely from Zemzem. From my understanding. I, I would encourage you humbly I will, I will, to look that will, up. Will, that's my second homework. To humble, look that up. No problem, no yep. problem. Number two, it doesn't, doesn't you happen. talked about the whole of humanity. Yep. Going to Mecca. No, no. What I mean by is, no, no, no. no. Uh, all, all people of many different nations came to the Kaaba. When the Arabs of the desert. Throughout, when? from from the time of Abraham to the time of. Uh, when did Abraham so live? Mecca, say one thousand four hundred BC. No, no. Civilizations would have Why does it, to point? travel there for no. trade. No. There would be things when they could Abraham obtain live? there that you wouldn't be able to obtain uh, from somewhere else. Sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, we don't know. Well, yeah. that's fine. If you don't want to yeah. ask to give a day, that's so, fine. Don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, well, my point is, so, is that in so, that time period, so, there would have been archaeological evidence. So, in terms of people coming into Mecca for pilgrimage, yeah. that we know of in terms of relatively recent time frame, are the pagan Arabs of the Arabian Peninsula. They're the ones who came in, okay. but they still had that remnant right. of what Abraham okay. was doing. Okay. All right. Think of it this way. Think of it this way. If, if the uh, in the earliest times, like say just before Muhammad, say the sixth century, yeah, there should have been archaeological evidence that they were there, but there isn't. The pagans with the Kaaba. We would you would have saying that even if we ignore thousand years ago or whatever and look right up to the time of Muhammad, because according to your narrations, there would have been pagans who would have been encircling the Kaaba at the time. Yeah. But we have no evidence of that. Most should do, right? How old is the Kaaba? Well, supposedly since the time of Adam and Eve. Within the Arabian source. Okay, all right, okay, sure. The Kaaba we have today, how old is it? I can't give you an exact date. What do you think? Wait, wait, are you asking for my opinion on how long do I think the Kaaba is? I think it came from the 8th century. The one standing today? Because I, here's the, the earliest map we have of the Kaaba that has the, uh, no, the earliest mention we have of the, uh, the Kaaba is from 741 AD. Yeah. That's a hundred years after Muhammad dies. So I'm going to tell you something. The Kaaba standing today is 500 years old. In literature until 741 even. Yeah, yeah. So Sorry, that, that might yeah, be yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Kaaba we have today is 500 years old. Because it was destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm granted the Kaaba has been destroyed many times. Yeah. So it's been rebuilt? Yeah. Yeah, I have no problem with that, yeah. Oh, if I should, if I should, no, I'm sorry, right. well, don't worry about it. You can't control the smoke of a vape. If, if I show you articles... Just show me evidence that Mecca existed, Bear like at the, around the time of Muhammad. If I show you articles... Well, oh, see, so you're, you're trying to cast doubt on this rather than just trying to... Destroying them yeah. and rebuilding over them. So you're saying they destroyed the Kaaba intentionally? No, other, 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 other religious, right, like, okay. like, like certain homes of certain. All right. Okay, so it's so choice, sure, and all that. So what does that demonstrate? So what that demonstrates is they took no interest 
in conducting archaeological digs the in Mecca. Something like that. No interest. Okay. They would see a building at the time of the Prophet, they would demolish it and they would build onto it. Okay, so to build on top of it, you first have to evacuate the ground underneath it which you would expect would therefore re reveal some archaeological evidence. We know this because this is what they do in Jerusalem. Did they... Jerusalem is dealt with by the Israeli government. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. What, what they're, they're interested in archaeological... Yes, because there's a lot of it, isn't there? Yeah? You, you would agree with me on that? What I'm saying, Chris, is the Saudi government had no interest. They would demolish and wreck okay, so and build on top. Why would they not have an interest in that when most, most of the Saudi government's uh, finance comes either from oil or from tourism? What? From oil or tourism, yeah. They just recently opened up for tourism. Yeah, yeah, I know, which is why they've been hurt so much. When if you look at uh, the numbers that travel to Mecca on Hajj, it was like three oh, or four million and then it just... Sorry, sorry, yeah. so when you say tourism, you're talking about their pilgrimage. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, the Hajj, sorry. it mostly comes from I mean, that pilgrimage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean by tourism, yeah, foreign... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Sorry, no, um, so we know that there is... The amount of water needed today to support the two to three million of Muslims that go on Hajj every year yes. is, is drastic, it's huge. So what's the argument? The argument is, in order to support a substantial amount of people, let's just say it's 100,000, to do that for people who will come into Hajj, you cannot in any way, shape or form rely on the Zamzam well, for one, and you cannot rely on, um, on that actually being a place. Because it couldn't be a place, because it's a desert. Think of it this way, in modern times, we've only just started doing this, we have Las Vegas. Las Vegas is probably the closest thing geographically to Mecca, because they're both in deserts, they both don't have rivers. You can't, it, the only, and the only reason that Las Vegas worked was because people came in and literally spent lots of money building this modern infrastructure up to support it. I believe that there was a Mecca, probably in the 8th century, because that's when we first have a reference to it. And if I'm right in this, if there is no Mecca at the time of Muhammad, it throws into question everything. All of a sudden, everything is up for question all of a sudden. I mean, think of it this way. You know about the, the Qibla, yeah? The earliest Qiblas don't face Mecca. There's like 36 of them or thereabouts that never faced Mecca, like the earliest mosques. The, the Qibla walls or the, the specific Qiblas that were facing, um, what well, should have been facing Mecca, never faced Mecca. They face either Petra, Jerusalem, or somewhere in between. That to me is clear evidence that there was no Mecca at the beginning. It came later on. Because the, the thing is, it, for me to believe that there was a Mecca, I would have to explain how the Qiblas got there. I would have to explain how they were able to provide water and food to people there. I would have had to explain why there's no archaeological evidence there. I'd have to explain why Ptolemy never mentioned it and never said there was a river there. Well, I mean, because there is a river there. But, and do you see what I mean? It keeps mounting up. There is an accumulative case as to why Mecca never existed at this time. And it's a strong case. You, you have like a mountain to climb in order to prove that Mecca existed. Because you've got to show me why all those arguments are wrong. <laughs> so I'm just trying to research the, sorry brother, the, the water argument in terms of where Mecca gets its water from. Sure, yeah, look at where Mecca gets water from. If it's from the Zamzam well, I'll be amazed. Because it's a tiny well, it doesn't give much water at all. But because of these traditions and these narrations, you are committed to believing that all of Mecca gets its water from this well. Desalination. Yep, desalination plants. You know what? One of the biggest, I think, one of the biggest exports of Saudi Arabia is its water, because they have tons of plants that produce fresh water, because they need it for the Hajj. Are you, a, are you a Christian sister? Or? Um, I'm thinking. Thinking. Oh, that's good. It's a good, good place to be in.
Yeah. Well, obviously, as a Christian myself, I hope that one day you do become a Christian. Yeah, I never really had to think about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, nice. There's only kind of really one religion down there. Yeah. Kind of yeah. That's good. I think I think religion is. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good. I mean, like I've. I came from an atheist background originally, um, and then I became a Christian through my own experiences, as well as looking into things, like looking at scripture, looking at how this relates to this, how does this make sense, and trying to sort of do a deep dive in my faith. So I would encourage you to do the same. I would encourage you to talk to lots of people here. There's obviously lots of Muslims here, but there are Christians here as well, and they have their own testimonies about things that they've been through in their life and how they've experienced things and come to have a totally different outlook and a totally different world. I mean, are you... Uh, sure. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? Yeah. One of my main things that stops me from embracing the religion as a whole is that I am aware. Okay, yep. Yep. I'm not sure entirely where religion kind of condemns queerness and cool. to some modern churches that makes sense. Right, right. I think there was a story from John where he walked in and there were homosexuals, men with men, girls with girls, and he said that this is against God's will. So, you know, uh, okay, yeah, I'm not sure yeah, I'm not sure that. Okay, so, so should I give you a little quick rundown on this, just so, just so you understand? So, <clears throat> in Christianity, as we came from the Jewish religion, we hold to the Ten Commandments of the Jewish law. We believe that the stereo ceremonial law has been dealt with through the person of Jesus Christ. So he fulfilled it. What we mean by that is that he himself, in his place and in his sacrifice, has completed the law. So we're not bound to things like dietary law which says that we can't eat pork. We're not bound to uh, observing the Sabbath, for example. You'll see different Christian opinions on this, but this is the, the, over, uh, the overall view. Now, what we do know is that there is such a thing as sexual sin, right? Now, I'm going to be honest, I struggle with that in my own life as a young man. I'm not perfect. There are no Christians who are perfect. Many of us have difficulties, all sorts of things that cross the border. But we look at Jesus as our, as our moral example because we believe he's morally perfect. We believe that um, he never uh, sinned, so he never did sexual sin, he never did sin of um, intentionally hurting others or to, to attack them or anything like that, or to kill anyone. So because he's our example, we look to him for our principles. You can contrast this with Islam, because with Islam they, they kind of have more laws. For them it's about the legal things that they are still following today. Whereas for us it's more principle. So Jesus said that you are to love one another as you would love yourself. Blessed Sorry, are the interrupt. peacemakers. So they're currently building... It, can I just say, mate, is it alright if I continue this these, conversation and we, you come back to me? Is that alright? Just because uh, I'm... Not really, no. I really want to respond. So, you want to just wait, just a brief moment. Okay, so, sure. and if a Christian talks about another religion, you've got to ask answer the question. You've got to ask the question, why? If I'm talking to you about Islam, I'll only talk about Islam. I'll tell you why Islam is good for you. I wouldn't talk about Hinduism, Buddhism, Buddhism or Jews or Christians. Just on Do the religion that he's got to preach as a side note. Anyway, so they are building a pipeline to take the sanitization water okay. to Mecca, but they're building it now. All right, so you're telling me right now it's still provided only by the Zamzam world? I believe so. I don't believe that for a second. I've, look, I've looked into this. I can't tell you exactly where these plants are, but there are already um, freshwater plants in Saudi Arabia. No, yes, I'm talking about for Mecca. No, 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 because no, it gets provided long distance. Of course it would be, okay. yeah. So last week, the Saudi Arabian government announced it had launched several water projects in Mecca and other sites worth over $800 million. One of the most relevant proposals is to set up a pipeline to carry desalinated water from the desalination plant in El Shuaiba to Mecca and other locations. Okay, great. So, so, this so that demonstrates that so there is a need for water. Now. No. Now. Yes. No. Okay, so now. They're building it in 2019. Okay. Well, now. three years ago. But sure, yeah. sure. So I think they... So, <laughs> so they didn't need it before. I don't think so, I'm mate. telling you. Okay, well, I'm telling you. I'll do my homework and, and re-look at my stuff and I make sure I'm absolutely well. right. Um, okay. We'll leave it at that because... So, so the water situation, yep. I believe Zemzem was able 
up until very recently, it would suffice them. Okay, okay. I will double check that. Yeah, we'll double check that. Ptolemy was getting a lot of his information from other from people. He didn't survey the Arabian Peninsula. He went and, there. And, and he didn't, I'm telling you now, he did not survey the Arabian Peninsula and go to Mecca and say, and just pass it and give coordinates, latitude or longitude and say, it's not here. He didn't do that. The Roman army, it said, the person that led the Roman army, the guide was an Arab, and he deceived them so much so that a lot of the army died, and when the leader of the army got, went back to Roman Egypt, yep. he got executed. Yep. Now, if something's prized for you, if he thought this army has come to conquer Yemen, stroke Arabia, Felix, I definitely don't want them to bring. This is a hypothesis. I definitely want, don't want them to bring them next to Mecca. So as I'm going to deceive him about other areas, I'm also going to deceive him about Mecca. And he was proven to be a deceiver to them. Sure. And the third point, again, I believe, probably not today, but up until the recent history, Zemzem was enough to suffice the water needs of Mecca. Okay. All right, thank you very much. Um, we'll leave it at that, yeah? And we'll go another day. Anyway, talk about to, to what you were saying before. So...